What is up guys, I am Voice of Validity and in today's video we're going to be talking about GTA 6. So let's get started. These are coming from uh, Tom Henderson. If you don't know who he is, he's a very credible source, um, been very accurate with Call of Duty and the Battlefield. So we're going to get into the video now. Um, first thing first, the setting. When does this game take place? I know there were some leagues that said that it would take place in Vice City and it would be like the 80s or something like that. But those were never sourced, I guess. Now, Tom does have some sources. Whether or not they're credible, that is still to be seen. So, um, modern setting. And the reason for that is they want to be able to keep producing content for GTA Online. So just be aware that going forward, GTA Online will still be a big part of Grand Theft Auto 6. Um, whether you like it or you don't like it, that is the case. So modern setting, no Vice City, at least not in the 80s. Uh, moving on, we have three protagonists. So remember back in the good old days when you only had one protagonist and the story was centered around that protagonist, for example, Arthur Morgan and you know, Nico Bellic and, you know, Carl Johnson. Well, not anymore. You're going to have three characters, sort of like GTA 5. If you guys remember that, obviously, if you played GTA 5, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and one of those is going to be a female. Now, I had already reported on this because Tom had said this prior, but he elaborated a little bit. So according to Tom Henderson, this is going to be the smart character of the group, the hacker, right? So kind of like Kinsey, if you ever played Saints Row 3, um, Kinsey was a really smart hacker on your team and you could, well, whatever. Um, so kind of also like Paige from GTA 5, if you haven't played you know, Saints Row 3, um, Paige is the hacker that helps Lester Crest in the heist, right? So if you know who that is, that's pretty much, I mean, that's not going to be her, right? But I'm just saying like, it'll, it'll be something like that. Um, moving on to the payment method. One payment method, one, will be cryptocurrency. Um, I'm sure cash will return as well, but cryptocurrency is going to make an appearance for GTA 6. Um, according to Tom, and I had reported this as well, um, the high up characters, right, the rich characters will pay you in cryptocurrency instead of paying you large sums of cash, right? So that is interesting. I don't know how it'll be implemented but I'm always open to ideas. Um, evolving map, that is the next point, which will be sort of like Fortnite. If you guys ever played Fortnite, you guys know how the map evolves, you know, through every season, every event, you know, things change, things get added, things get removed. And that is kind of like what he's saying the map will be like. Um, one thing to note, is that we've already seen something like this in Red Dead Redemption 2 where the beginning of the, the story is very different to the way the world looks at the very end, right? Um, you know, buildings are built, houses are built, things like that. So really interesting and apparently, you know, by the updates that Rockstar creates, that is when they will be changing things around. Uh, not like Red Dead, how everything just remained the same afterwards. Apparently, they're going to be able to change it, you know, throughout the life cycle of the game. Uh, next thing that I wanted to discuss was the bad, I guess, I don't, I don't know how to take it, but basically, it's only going to be coming to next generation consoles. If you are stuck on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you will not be able to purchase GTA 6. I mean, you will be able to purchase it, but you won't be able to play it on your PlayStation 4, Xbox One. And this includes the Xbox One X. Um, you will only be able to play it on PC, on PlayStation 5, and on 
Xbox Series Series X, I believe it's called. I'm not really sure. Um, and then the last point that I wanted to talk about was the fact that, according to Tom, right, the approximate release date would be 2024 or 2025. And this was just speculation from his part. Um, and according to Tom, the reason being for the release being that time frame is because Rockstar wants to be able to sell this game, right? And if they were to release it right now, I mean, even if it wasn't finished, um, not a lot of people have PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series X. Right, so it is in their best interest to wait until the next generation consoles are the current generation consoles. So I don't know how you all feel about that personally. I mean, I kind of would like to be able to play it on my PlayStation 4, but I understand why it's going to be only next gen consoles. Um, the release window is just speculation. It's not confirmed, so don't get your hopes up. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments or something that really interested you or intrigued you or maybe something that you heard that you did not like. Um, me personally, I think everything is all right with me. Like, I, I don't think I've seen or heard anything that I won't be liking. Uh, I would like Vice City. But if it's not possible, then that's absolutely okay. Like, I'm not going to be upset about that. But I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments your thoughts and opinions. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're almost close to 100 subscribers. We only need two more. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'll see you all next time if you stick around.